there is, um, you know, the classic symptoms that we see patients that uh, are on statins are the muscle aches over half the patients. About um, uh, 10 or 15 percent get some cramps. But there's always some weakness. Almost all patients get weakness. And I'd look for all those things because uh, they can be an issue. The second thing is that um, oftentimes we have patients that have given up on statins years ago. And uh, to think of those. And we're finding a lot of patients calling us now saying, gee, I've I've been off statins for four or five years. I can't take them. And they're wanting to come to the clinic. So it's someone that really isn't in front of mind in terms of coming to the doctor's office and saying, so if you have patients like that, those are ones we can get in that we may be able to help. While in the past, people have said, well, there's not much we can offer. And the last thing is, I think, the testing that we're doing, uh, some of the research studies we're doing. Because some of the agents like coenzyme Q10, there's been a recent meta-analysis of all the studies that showed it really didn't help much. Uh, but that was one or two hundred milligrams per day. What we found uh, from some other studies is that you really need about six hundred milligrams per day, uh, and the ubiquinol is better absorbed rather than ubiquinone, which is the most common. And so we're giving ubiquinol in our studies and following these patients prospectively, in you know, organized fashion, calling them up, seeing how they're doing. And that's what we really need to do is more research in this area to see what really helps and what doesn't help. And the other area of research that's really important is the genetic testing. There are genes now that have been reported to predict side effects to statins. There are other genes, like the KIF6 gene, that will predict benefit with the statins and, um, and benefit of one statin over another. So we can you know, uh, categorize a patient and give them the drug that may be best for them with the least side effects and the most benefit. And that's really early in the stages of genetic uh, kind of analysis, but that's where we're, that's where we're all going, as we know. And we're going to be there in a few years, but we've got to do research on it in the meantime.